against each other now. Yep. Yep. I'd be curious if uh, I'd be curious to see what happened if Linus had to face off against Johnster since uh, Linus is the one ranked player here that Johnster yep. has not beaten. Michigan ranked, I should yeah. say, because obviously Six WX is uh, on Panda Global. But yeah, because I feel like honestly Linus would have a good match with the Bowser because. Bowser is heavy, and he has the Koopa in order to take off those stocks a little bit more reliably and efficiently than right, other characters. Right. Yeah, Bowser does not have issues killing. That is one thing that that character has absolutely no problem with whatsoever. Yeah. Yeah, right now debating on what stage to go to here. This might be a button check. I don't see the layout changing, but who knows. So starting off game one on Battlefield here, and it looks like they are going right into it. Yep. Man, and this is loser semis. That's crazy to think of. For a 24-man weekly to have this be the loser semi match we're seeing. Oh, okay, so Linus isn't even in anymore. Winner yeah. in this place, Johnster. Yeah. So one of these guys is getting a run back. We'll see which one it'll be. Ooh. Yeah, and I imagine both of them are out for revenge tonight. Oh, yeah. They both want that shot at 6WX, I'm sure. Ooh. Actually throwing out the smash attack there, but Sensational being patient on their recovery back to the stage and avoiding the gimp from the down air. Yeah, Ozone actually loves Duck Hunt's F smash. Ooh, Ooh. nice, very nice tech. That obviously yeah. would have been lethal otherwise. I like what Ozone did there. He went up high enough that Ooh. Seth had to guess if he was going to land on the platform or not. Up here, sending Sensational really high and sending him back up with that cam. Yep. I like how he just has the cam right below him to make it a lot harder for Sensational to challenge him as he's recovering. The way Ozone plays advantage is really strong because he'll just, uh, he'll take whatever he can get, right? He'll string yeah. like one, one or two moves together. And then uh, once he knows that he doesn't have it, like anything else that he can get guaranteed, he'll back off and just establish stage control. Once he hits you off stage, he'll just like, He'll jump back to center while pushing the can towards you. <laughs> the can saving him from oh, that yeah. down smasher. Got to be on top of those. Let's duck hunt. Sensational wisely up airing through the can in order to get back to the stage here, but he's at 174%. Getting thrown into the can is going to cost him his stock. That's big because, uh, you know, duck hunt's kind of one of his more well-known issues is that uh, killing can be a pain sometimes. So against a heavy character like Falcon on a stage yeah. like Battlefield, Getting that kill, you know, at a reasonable percent is real important. Yes. Yeah. It's weird thinking of Falcon as a heavy character, because he doesn't really look like he's that heavy. Yeah, it's all those muscles, what? man. Ooh. Ozone possibly a little scared. Maybe he forgot he uh maybe he forgot he didn't have his jump, something like that. Yeah. Hard to say. But uh either way, it has given Seth opportunity to establish advantage. That was very good use of the can though. Yeah, he's definitely using that can to get out of these situations. But right now, Up Air City coming out from Sensational, not letting Ozone get back to the ground for free. Never. Duck Hunt's disadvantage is uh, it's kind of weak sometimes, and that's where Falcon, you know, needs to capitalize because Falcon's advantage is fantastic. And Seth, or, uh, excuse me, Ozone is going to try to work his way back on the stage and just take that F smash. Yeah, and Seth has been hitting a lot of those tonight. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I swear, all these ridiculous setups is just draining my energy too quick. <laughs> yeah, we've got a lot of high-octane sets going yeah. on. We haven't really seen something uh, super slow-paced yet. Yeah, exactly. I mean, whenever you have Cessational in the mix, there's not going to be any slowing down. Let's be honest here. That's true. Nice using that down tilt just to send the can right back at him, but getting too close that time. No zone activating the can to get the hit. Narrowing out of that up air string, getting back to stage, but sensational not letting up here, just staying on top of this dog. Yep. He gets advantage and then he just never lets it go, and that's how you need to play against yeah. Duck Hunt. Uh, because neutral can be very frustrating wow. sometimes. Dropping below the can, and Ozone. That was so clever. He knew that once Ozone landed on the stage, he was probably going to be expecting some sort of quick option to send him back up. So Seth is like, I know you're going to spot dodge this. Let me charge it up and wait for it. Yeah, that was super good because uh, obviously he could have just gone for an up air or something and gotten yeah. that for free. But he wanted to extend a little bit. And sometimes yep. that's uh, 
that's what you need to do. That can really pay off because uh, once he yep. landed, Ozone was like, oh, no, he's looking for something tricky. And yep. uh, Seth just right a couple steps ahead of him, caught that down smash. Oh, oh, wow. But the pivot F smash to retaliate from Ozone. Yeah. And while it is an unreliable F smash, it is a strong F smash. Oh, yeah. But right now, Ozone trying to work his way back into this game here. But Seth almost oh, sealed no! off. No. Oh, no. <laughs> that was... Uh. Really good otherwise, because he yeah. was even able to capitalize off of the uh, the sour spotted knee, but it was just like he fast fell to cover his tracks a little bit, I think. Yep. And uh, he just missed the ledge a little bit, or he missed the stage a little bit, but uh, not the end of the world. Nope. We are 1 1. Yeah, and I mean, if anybody can bring him back, it's Seth, but he's going to have to work past his inner demons because he is known to let his mentality get in the way, and it is something he has been trying to work on lately. But if he, if anyone can, like, if he just keeps playing like he did that, that second game, yeah, he's, he's got it, no problem. Yeah, I mean, it's not like he was playing bad or anything. He was no, definitely carrying that game. The, the only reason he lost that was because of one error on his part. So as long as he can let, keep that from seeping into his mind, he should be fine. That triple up air from Ozone is devastating. Wow! That was so good. He dashed away. Okay, he dashed away from Seth. That baited Seth to come and try to punish. Yep. He had the can to cover him, which went uh, kind of the opposite way, which Seth probably wasn't anticipating. And yep. then once the can hit him, he had a follow-up ready because the the bait with the dash attack that set up the yep. can also positioned him for the for the follow-up. And that just shows you how adept Ozone is at working with his can. It's basically like an extension of his body. Dog Hunt players are crazy, man. Yeah. I mean, just having to uh, manage all this stuff in the middle of a high-octane match definitely has to be draining. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Seth knowing that he's looking to use that can to get out of these situations and just sitting in shield, but Ozone punishing him for sitting in shield a little bit too much here. Yeah, I like how Seth's been handling the can uh, most of the time throughout this set. I, see, I keep seeing him go for that. It hasn't quite worked yet, but it's a good idea. Yep. Oh, oh my oh. goodness. Wow, and just sliding in with that up smash and taking off that stock from Cessational. Ozone sitting at 83% here. That definitely could have paid off well. But yep. uh, just the wrong, the wrong guess at the wrong time, I suppose. Yep. I like how Ozone just holds his opponents long enough if he recognizes that he needs to get rid of the cam. That way he can get the can back and reset it to where he needs it to be after the throw. Hitting the can away and then like pinging it so that it it goes the opposite direction is really good. I like it. I like that a lot. Yeah, if I remember correctly, the direction the can is going to go is going to depend on what way he's facing when he hits the can. So keep an eye on if he's doing a bear or a fair when he hits that can. Because like if he wants it to go towards the opponent, he'll just do a down tilt to hit it towards him. But if he wants it to bounce back, you'll see him going for that back here to hit it towards his opponent. Interesting. Oh, good patience from oh, Ozone no. and just scaring him down there. Yeah, that's uh, that's got to be a little disappointing if you're sad, but yeah. Ozone just able to uh, able to tough it out and yeah. uh, take that set against against the. Other